and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In one of the last tips I showed you how to render material buffers by using node-based materials. Here is a way how you can create material buffers without using node-based materials. Instead, I will use the take system. But before we start creating our material ID take, we will create some materials that will represent our material IDs later. So let's go to the material manager and double click to create a new material. And then we double click the material. We will rename it to be R. And then we deactivate the color and the reflectance channel. And instead we will activate the luminance channel. Let's set this up to use RGB colors. And for the first material, we want to use a full red. So this is gonna be a 100% red. Red at 255 green and blue at zero each. Now let's create a copy of this one by holding down command or control and dragging and dropping it. Then let's call this G and instead of using red we are going to use the green channel. Then let's create a blue one by using the same technique and a last one that's going to be completely black so we can deactivate the luminance channel and call it black. Okay, let's close this. And now we want to set up a material ID take. So let's go to the takes manager. And if you don't know what takes are, takes are a system that allows you to store multiple states of the scene inside of one scene. So the main take is the main scene and you can create a new take by hitting this button here and rename it mat ID. And now this take is active, but it shows you the very same scene as in the main take. So now the main take is active, now the mat ID take is active again. And the whole take system works with overrides. So a take will inherit everything from the main take except for the overrides you assigned to that take. So let's do this. Let's go back to the objects manager and select all of the material tags here. And as you can see, all of the parameters are grayed out, but we can right click the material parameter and go down to override. As we do that, this parameter is not grayed out anymore. And now we can override this parameter for the mat ID take. So let's select the pink materials first here and drag and drop the red material in here. Then let's select the blue materials and override them by using our blue ID material. And then we're going to select all golden ones and replace them by the green one. And now one thing we shouldn't forget is to replace the background here on the sky with the black material. Okay, now we already finished it. All materials are now represented by 100% red, green or blue and the background is 100% black. Of course, if we go to the takes manager, we can still go back to our main take and this will show our beauty image, so to speak, and if we activate the material ID take, this will show the material overrides. Now, if we render this take, you can see the very same. So we've got our beauty image here and we've got our mat ID pass here. The downside of this technique is of course that you have to render twice. So once the beauty image and then another rendering for the mat ID pass. But as you can see, it's very fast because it's using luminance materials only. And now that we got material IDs of pure red, green and blue, we can create luminance masks out of each one using a compositing application. In After Effects, for example, you can use the Set Channels effect. In this effect, you need to set the source colors for R, G and B to the color that you want to create the luminance mask from. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe!